What's up guys, it's Chris, you're watching Plumbing Explained, and this is Unclogged, episode 23. So we were called out to this kitchen sink clog by the homeowner, which is a handyman, and um, he had already told me that he had tried with all of his knowledge and uh, ability with the tools that he had at his disposal to unclog this drain, and he was unsuccessful up until this point. So I knew that this wasn't gonna be just your normal run of the mill, easy drain call. And I also knew based off of the area. I know this area very well, and I know the second story kitchen sinks, because they're all cast iron in the wall, can be very problematic. Which makes this scenario a perfect scenario for the Spartan flex shaft combination, the one-two punch combo. You unclog it with your Spartan Model 81 516 intercore cable. I got 50 feet of that on this drum with a drop head on the tip. So I'll unclog it with that and then what I typically do is if the customer wants to pay a little bit extra, we'll grab the flex shaft, especially since we just got a new K9102. Want to test that baby out. Uh, we would go grab that and completely clean this line out for an extra 125 bucks. We also just bought a new higher end camera, 100 feet Raptor View Mini, um, completely battery powered. So we're gonna be having much better camera ability. You'll be seeing the flex shaft paired with the camera quite often coming soon in the future. So I'm using my uh, modified trap arm here. And uh, what I've done here is I've cut the top of the trap arm off so that I can run water We've attached the uh, trap directly to the disposal so that we're able to run water and snake at the same time. This makes a huge difference when unclogging kitchen sink drain lines uh, just because a lot of the time it's grease, gunk, food buildup and you're basically just, when you're rotting it, you're just poking a hole and even with flex shaft, sometimes you're just grinding that stuff up, grinding and grinding and grinding it up and without the water to help push it out while you're um, you know, moving through the line, you're not really doing much uh, justice. It's gonna take you a very long time without having water behind your cable or your flex shaft. In this case, of course, we're using the Spartan Model 81 with our 5 16th intercore cable. This thing's a beast. Um, anything up to three inches, this thing's gonna push right through. Uh, but, and like I said, we're in cast iron in the wall here got a lot of tight bends in this wall it's in a condominium complex and uh, yeah there's just lots of weird tight little bends so the 516 cable is perfect for these lines I used to run these lines with my uh, Spartan 100 and it was just a nightmare I used to get stuck or I mean get to places where the uh, 100 because I run a half inch cable on my 100 machine where the cable wouldn't be able to make its way through a bend. It was just a nightmare. So this 516th cable is like a dream come true for a residential plumber like myself. Another really cool thing about being able to run water while snaking though is you can also actually see by the way the water's reacting, whether or not you're on the clog, whether or not you've cleared the clog, whether or not you're, um, you know, coming through a clog or missing the clog. There's a lot of things that you can tell just by the way the water's reacting when snaking while running water. So for instance, if you use the trap adapter idea like I've been using, um, you'll notice water will be pouring out while you're snaking it, while it's clogged. And then as soon as you get through the clog, the water will stop pouring out and overflowing over the top of the trap adapter. It'll start directing down the drain like it's supposed to. And then once you know exactly at the moment that that happened, you should stop Pull your cable back a few inches, maybe five, 10 inches, and then re-engage that tight area that was where the clog was so that you can help clear that area up. It's probably on a weird bend somewhere down in the line, maybe an offset or something like that. And if you hit that area a few times while running water, you can push that debris away, whatever that debris is that's uh, collecting there and catching stuff and making the clog, you can help push it out and it's likely not far from the drop into the main line. And you'll notice the tip of my cable has like a bend in it. It almost comes into like, look like a hockey puck uh, 
and that that's intentional that wasn't unintentional that's intentional because i want it to kind of flip around in there and really clean and scour the inside of that drain and i did that before i ever owned a flex shaft because now that i have the flex shaft i wouldn't ever need to do that but i still am happy that i did that because it really does help unclog these cast iron drain lines that are just completely caked with gunk like like I said, in this area here with the second story kitchen sink drain lines, there's no clean out uh, for like 60 or 70 feet down the line and it's down in the garage. It's nowhere near where this clog is. This clog's within the first like 25, 30 feet. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's not plumbed very well for um, repair and residential service. Look how awesome the Spartan Model 81 is. You can run it on its back, on its side, upside down, every which way. And another perk of running hot water while retrieving your cable is that it's actually going to clean the cable off while you're retrieving it. So uh, I recommend typically you have a rag and also wipe the cable down as it's coming back so you're not just putting a bunch of water that's going to sit in your drum and rust the cable and drum out. But, you know, learn from my mistakes. You also, if you're gonna be snaking a cast iron area underneath the sink, you wanna put something down like I have down, like a furniture carpet or some type of drop cloth or something to absorb most of the uh, off spray that's gonna come while you're snaking that line. Um, you shouldn't have much, it shouldn't have much, especially if you're using this method like I'm using here. It won't be as nasty and gunky and black, but you will get some uh, dirty water off spray, which is much easier to clean than the black sludge of doom, for sure. While you're pulling your cable back though, you wanna monitor the water that's passing through the opening you've made in the trap adapter to be sure that it's not like, you know, just barely unclogged. If it's, if it's somewhat overflowing, doesn't look like you have great flow, there should be barely any water in the bottom of that pipe that's going down into the wall. So once it comes up through the trap, uh, you should barely be seeing just a little like river of water that comes through that trap adapter. That trap adapter should not be holding like half full or anything like that. So I'll let the hot water run for a little bit just to be sure. I'll fill the sink up a few times and drain it uh to be double sure and make sure that everything's flowing good and that uh you know this isn't going to be a callback because we give a 30-day warranty on routine unclogging and a 90-day warranty on any drain cleaning now this is exactly how your flow should look here it should kind of uh wave up and like cascade down there so right there is where it comes up through the trap it has to be full there and then it kind of trickles down into just a nice little lazy river that rolls down the rest of the pipe. And I just used a uh, no hub coupling there to uh, put my trap together so that I was able to uh, just pipe my trap directly to the disposal. I would have preferred to go to the other side to have just a clear run and not have to run through the disposal, but um, it just wasn't in the cards on this one. So if you don't have the Milwaukee uh, fuel packout vacuum, you definitely need it. Especially if you're a packout guy, man, this packout vacuum is a game changer. Having a cordless vacuum that actually works is something else. I've never had that before. I still carry the bucket head like for uh, drains that I know people have used um, Drano and other like caustic material in. So I'm scared of ruining this vacuum, even though it has vacuumed up some nasty stuff and it has vacuumed up even Drano and it's still working just great. Um, but this thing is awesome. So I'll vacuum out that little tray down there, which is actually the customers. And I'm probably going to copy that idea. I'm probably going to buy one of those trays because it made me feel really comfortable using my little uh, trap arm uh, adapter method there that I use. Normally I just have my bucket under there which fills up really fast um, and you have to constantly vacuum it out whereas this one had that big trough under there so I was able to run water without having to really stress about anything especially knowing I had my vacuum right there to vacuum it out if anything happened I was like yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting one of those. So this is my only complaint about the Model 81 and it is there's nowhere really to wrap the cord at least nowhere that I know of yet. And I don't really like wrapping it like this, but it's the only way to securely wrap it that I know of. 
Um, it's the way it was given to me when I bought it, and it's the only way that I can see wrapping it that won't just become even more annoying. So, but it's then, it's like wrapped around these sharp corners, sharp steel corners, and I just, it just stresses me out about that, especially I've had my uh, Model 100, the, um, the air pressure line used to crack all the time, and I'm just worried that that's going to start happening with this one, but hopefully not. So if you want to continue to learn about the methods I use, the machines I use to unclog drains, the things I do, the little tips and tricks I learned about plumbing along my years of trial and error uh, as a plumber, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, I answer every comment, and more importantly, share the video, share it with fen friends, family, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Nextdoor, WhatsApp, uh everywhere share the video all right guys i appreciate you very much take care drain me in a pain the brown won't go down time to deploy uncle elroy he's got the longest snake around need to clear your pipes without any grass oh uncle elroy's the guy for the job he's getting shit done without being a slob Give the man a like and go and hit subscribe. You're gonna save you money, save you time. He'll teach you how to plumb and won't charge a dime. <laughs>